it was good guys i've been your best brand new review this time the marvel legends akoya build a figure wave eric killmonger figure very excited about this movie and you know since i haven't obviously seen it yet i don't know a lot about what this killmonger figure is going to do in the movie or the character rather but still very excited about it it's still a black panther type figure and i can mod it if i want to but still a very cool looking figure you can see him on the side right there you can see him on the back a little bar right here and all the figures in the wave so yeah let's open this up and i'll give my opinion killmonger comes with two pairs of interchangeable hands first these open palms with the claw showing and then these semi-open hands with the claw showing as well and then he comes with this half spear if you watch Black Panther, you know what I'm talking about. And then he comes with this blade. Taking a look at Killmonger, I love this figure. I thought Eric Killmonger was amazing in the Black Panther movie. And honestly, I kind of want to see Black Panther wear the suit. Like, no spoilers, but after what happened in the movie, I don't know, man. Could he wear the suit? Possibly. But I like this gold look of the Black Panther suit. It reminds me of the comics and everything like that. But it looks great, man. It's a very evil and menacing look of black panther which i like but taking a look at this head sculpt it's amazing you can see the, like the leopard or chia in the face there's like some teeth like the gold eyes all the designs some wakanding writing on the side same over there I like the ears pointed I like this gold necklace there's a reason why black panther didn't wear this in the movie but you have to see the movie to know that. And um, I'm not sure if this is because um, these dots here are because Eric Killmonger, every time he kills someone, he burns himself. If that's like a part of him or this is a part of the suit, I'm not sure. But if you can see, there's like some kind of like cheetah marks or like cheetah dots on there. Looks great. It's about the mask as well. It's great, man. And this is not like a flat black. It's kind of like a... I don't know, it's like kind of like a charcoal black or like a grayish black. Looks good, man. I like all the gold. Some detail there as well. I like the hands. Gold on the hands as well. He holds the weapons very well. Um, this um, dagger came a little bent, but it is what it is. Looks pretty good. Holds this good to two. And looks good. I like this figure, man. I like the musculature as well. For the feet. Pointed toes. Everything on this figure is great, man. Really impressed with this figure. And here he is with open palms. These look amazing. Pretty sharp as well. So this is a new body mold. It's a lean, slender body mold. So a character like Iron Fist or Spider-Man can use a mold like this if they decided to reuse it. But as far as the articulation, it's very good. The head looks up. I told you the problem I had with the head, but it looks down, side to side, and moves left and right. He has a butterfly joint, arm moves up and down, sweat the bicep, arm moves back and forth. He has a double jointed elbow, and the wrist moves side to side, hand moves up and down. Very nice ab crunch. Really good, actually. Waist swivel, leg moves forward, back and out, sweat the thigh, double joint at the knee, no capsule, the foot moves up a little bit, moves back, and has an ankle pivot. So, Really good articulation on this figure. Here's Killmonger next to the Marvel Legends movie Black Panther. And I'm not going to lie, I'm not the biggest fan of the second version of the MCU Black Panther suit. It's not bad, but there's just a couple things I'm not a, the biggest fan of. Like certain things in the mask and certain things that I saw the costume do in the movie. But that's just me. It's still a very cool figure and a very cool suit. But here he is next to the... Rocket Raccoon, Marvel Legends, Black Panther, and this is still a very cool figure. Need to get the uh, Walmart exclusive version of this one. And I already have the Hero Black Panther version. I just haven't opened that. But you've gotten a lot of Black Panthers this year, and I'm really glad about that. And you know what? I kind of want to get a second version of this one just to, like, mod it and to make it, like, a, you know, just an all-black Black Panther with the gold and just gold and whatnot. But I don't know. We are getting the second uh, Killmonger with Everett Ross, and I'm pretty excited about that. So I might not have to do that, but still a very, very cool figure in a very cool way. I'm going to rate Killmonger a 9.5. This figure is almost a perfect 10, but just those couple issues I mentioned. But this figure should still be in stores. He's kind of hard to find right now because the Black Panther wave is kind of sold out. But 
still a great figure. I don't think SH Figure Arts or Mezco or anyone else is going to give us another Killmonger, so this is probably your best bet. But yeah, this is a great figure, and thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you later. Peace.